bill today over the proposed buyout of 3Com. Today, Republican House lawmakers introduced a resolution calling for a government review committee to block the tech company's purchase by Bain Capital and a Chinese company because the deal threatens the national security of the United States. Last month, Bain announced that it and China's Huawei Technologies would purchase 3Com for $2.2 billion. Huawei is China's largest maker of telecommunications network equipment. 3Com sells technology to companies and government agencies that protect computer networks from attack. Bain voluntarily submitted the acquisition agreement for review to the Committee on Foreign Investment, uh, otherwise known as CFIUS, and uh, says Huawei's minority stake will present no threat to national security. Joining us now to talk about this situation, one of the House lawmakers calling for the deal to be blocked, Thaddeus McCotters, a Republican from Michigan. He's also the chairman of the House Republican Policy Committee. Congressman, thanks for the time today. Appreciate it. And what's your problem with this deal? Well, the problem is, is we believe it will impair America's national security by allowing Huawei, which we believe has ties to the People's Liberation Army of Communist China, access to 3Com. 3Com is a contractor that provides cyber defenses to our Department of Defense. As recently as June this year, the Department of Defense was a victim of cyber warfare. They believe the culprit was the People's Liberation Army, and it caused a shutdown. In the final analysis, we appreciate what Bain is doing by presenting it to Cepheus, but we believe the Cepheus should come to the conclusion that in this instance it is ironic, if not insane, to allow a company that has a history of providing sensitive technologies to America's enemies to be allowed to have access to those technologies. What about Bain's assurances that this is a minority stake on the part of Huawei, that they won't have access to those, uh, to those uh, sensitive pieces of information? This is not something that should concern members of Congress and the federal government as a well. whole. Well, national security, with all due respect to Bain, national security is a profit motive, which we respect and appreciate as Republicans and supporting of entrepreneurs. But what Bain has to respect is our sworn duty to protect the national security of the United States and the liberty of all its citizens. In the final analysis, again, this company has had a bad track record of maintaining its promises to people like Bain, to other people involved in the private sector, to keep these technologies out of their hands and in the wrong, putting them into the wrong hands. So with all due respect to Bain, I disagree with them most uh, vociferously. Your resolution calls on uh, CFIUS to reach the conclusion that this deal is a threat to national security. That process, as I understand it, has not yet obviously been completed. It may not have even started yet at this point. Why not uh, simply wait and see what, what CFIUS does in the end? Do you not trust CFIUS to, to reach the, that conclusion if indeed that's indeed, uh, if that's indeed the, the situation here, that there is a threat to national security? Well, I appreciate the leadership of Ranking Member Leanna ross Layton for introducing the resolution of which I'm a co-sponsor. We believe that we should weigh in on this issue to provide Cepheus with an understanding of where the United States Congress is at, where the House of Representatives is at. The problem with Cepheus is Cepheus is geared towards trade. Cepheus is not necessarily geared as a number one goal towards protecting the security of the United States, and when in doubt, they will go on the side of trade. The consequences of poor decisions of Cepheus, in this instance and others, are going to be felt by a vast majority of Americans, regardless of the prosperity in the short term, if at all, that such a deal is brings to us. There have been concerns expressed by the Bush administration, Treasury Secretary Paulson, even the President himself about whether uh, there are uh, questions about whether America is truly open for foreign investment. Do you worry about the signal that this might send in light of the Dubai Ports World situation, the CNOOC investment from uh, some time back, that uh, perhaps foreigners will choose to, to park their money elsewhere? I think it is time for this administration to start opening up the markets of other nations such as communist China to ensure a reciprocity of trade so that it is not a one-way street as reflected by our record trade deficits I believe for the past five years. It seems to me the victims should not be blaming themselves for a lack of access to their markets. What we should be doing is talking to the people who are not allowing our companies, especially our manufacturers, access to their markets. Do you have specific evidence that this company has ties directly to the, to the Chinese military? The problem is the opaque nature of their relationship, but I will say that it's usually a bad start when your founder is a former member of the People's Liberation Army who holds Mao as a role model. And uh, is there anything Bain Capital could do in terms of uh, assurances they could provide to you, other members of Congress, about this deal going forward that would, uh, that would ease your concerns? Any specific restrictions, for example, that they could put into place? I think the problem is not with Bain Capital. I think Bain Capital will make an honest, good faith effort to enforce any type of agreement. But when you're dealing with an entity that may or may not decide to vitiate those agreements or counter, <coughs> countervail against them, in the final analysis, 
The promises of Bain are only as good as the actions of Huawei, and it is best to preclude the opportunity for Huawei to take sensitive technologies from this deal and put them into the wrong hands. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter of Michigan, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate you joining us here on Bloomberg. Thank you for having me. Coming up next on Money and Politics, Senator 